firstly, congratulations. Um, reading the paper this morning that when you got the phone call, sort of jumped out of bed. It was a good start to the week for you. Yeah, it definitely was a good start. Obviously, I wasn't expecting it, but um, yeah, it was a good thing to wake up to on a Monday morning. Obviously, you don't get up too early on Monday mornings, but um, on the day off, it was very exciting. Just interested in Essendon over the last few years may have sort of struggled for that that small forward playing up the ground and being a goal sneak as well. Do you think you're the man that sort of can deliver that new role over the next few years? I'd like to say I can, but I think Paul Chapman's been very good this year with me. Um, I guess he's helped me a lot and he's pointed me in the right direction, so hopefully I can learn as much off him as I can and yeah, he'll be a good help. And talk us through the leadership. I mean, if there's anyone to learn your craft from, Paul Chapman's probably the number one bloke in the comp. Yeah, absolutely he is. Um, obviously he's played a lot of games and got a lot of experience and got three premierships, so none better to learn off. Dyson Heppel, someone else you've been learning off. Can you take, take us through what you've learned from him so far? Uh, Dyson's been very good, obviously, with the professionalism of the, the training and the games and getting yourself right for training every week, and um, he's been very good with that, and also helping with vision and all that sort of stuff, so yeah, he's probably one I've leaned on a lot. Seven games this season, is that more than what you probably would have expected when you first were recruited? Yeah, absolutely. I was obviously hoping just to play one game this year. Um, Jackson played one in his first year, so I guess I was trying to top him in a way, but to play seven so far, it's been very exciting. Talk us through that sibling rivalry, Zach, you live with your brother. How was he when he heard the news you got the rising star? Yeah, no, he's actually very excited as well. He congratulated me and yeah, he was very happy for me. So yeah, obviously the rivalry is pretty big at home but, and at training, but yeah, we get on really well. I'm a good mate, so yeah, he was very excited as well. The evenness of the competition is something like it's never been over the last decade or two. Particularly you guys have been in good form recently, I guess, and sit just outside the eight. It's just talk us through the, the evenness of the comp. There are no easy weeks as we saw Hawthorne GWS and you've got them this week. Um, what do you think the, the impact that result will have on, on approaching the GWS this week? Yeah, I think it'll be similar to most weeks, obviously because it's so even, you have to prepare for everyone equally. Um, and they played really well last week, so it'll be another tough game and we'll have to be performing really well. Got a few mates playing at GWS. Can you take us through uh, what that might be like this weekend? Yeah, if we're both lucky enough to play. Josh Kelly be a, is one of my good mates, so I played with him last year at Sandringham, and it'd be very different uh, playing against him. And it'd be good to catch up with him for a good game. Zach, off you came off the the bye. How good was it to get back to playing some some good football and playing four quarters of footy against the Tigers? Yeah, it was good to have a good break and to come back and play pretty well. Was very good. Um, good for the body to have 15 days off and that sort of stuff so um, yeah body's feeling really fresh and it was good to get a couple of touches on the weekend. Was there anything specific you worked on over the bye um, with Bomber and the rest of the group? I worked pretty close with the fitness staff and trying to get more aerobic into my 15 day break obviously you can't with seven day break so um, yeah I try to work hard on the aerobic stuff and yeah I think it's paying off. BJ won the medal uh, on Saturday night was there a few words in the rooms that Benny Howlett might have been stiff with Four or five goals and 25 touches. Uh, yeah, so both play well. Um, I was a bit of banter in the rooms, but yeah, I think Beige was a deserved winner. It's more than a jumper. It's a tradition, a legacy. It crosses our hearts and unites us all. And now, more than ever, it's time to don the sash.